How y'all doing today? Uh, I fished half this bayou today with a spur bill crankbait. Didn't have any luck. So I'm going to switch it to a finesse rig with a uh, number two offset hook, as you see here, and a yum dinger, four inch worm. No weight. That's what the finesse rig is. Take the worm, go about, I like to go about maybe a centimeter and a half deep, come up over the set, and then you put it right in here. Barely through there, that way, you know, you get a good hook set. There's a lot of bait fish around. As you can see, tons of tilapia down there. I don't know if you can see them. I'm trying not to spook them, but they're eating down there. So there should be bass around here somewhere. I'm gonna try to find them for you. Oh, look at that, right away. As soon as it hit, had something hit it. I'm gonna go ahead and you can retrieve it nice and on the top. We can let it sink. I see a shopping cart over there in the water, so I'm gonna go ahead and target that. And go right by it if I can. Let it sink. Watch your line. Your line is an indicator. You can watch the line and see if you're getting a bite or not. Oh, look at that. I got one right here, y'all. Got him. Yeah. You always want to watch your line because you can see when the fish are biting. Take a bite out of it or not. There's a bass for y'all. Finesse rig. Large mouth bass. Sweet. Like I said, give it a little off to the side like that. We can get a good hook set. That was a nice bass. I don't know if you can see him over through the glare of the water, but I'll try to get it one more time. I don't know if he's gonna bite again, but we'll see. See if we can't get him. Oh yeah, something just ate it. Something's got it. Letting it get it. Here we go, folks. There it is. Finesse rig. Two set, or number two offset hook. And a four inch yum dinger. Produce your bass. There's your little bass. Let's see if we can't go back there and get another one. I think there might be more stacked up in there. My worm's getting a little worn out. If your worm starts getting worn out like this, you see how it's all getting tore up? You can bite about a centimeter off of it, and then do exactly what you did. And dig it in a little to the side, like that. See if you can't go over there again and get something. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, right here, I got one. Oh, another one. Told you, sometimes there's multiple bass in an area. Got them stacked up here. Finesse rig on the yum dinger, baby. This one's a little more heavier. He's about a solid pound. Pound and a half, that's a nice little fatty. Don't be afraid to throw back in the same spot catch one fish there's probably more there there we go there it is nice little fat bass all right y'all here's another little spot uh I like to catch some bass in this bayou. I'm gonna make a couple casts. See if I can't pull one in for you. Show y'all how to do this. 
finesse rig. Number two offset hook, four inch yum dinger worm. That sink to the bottom. Raise your rod tip. Oh, got one right here, folks. Right here, really slack in. Set the hook. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. Good size bass. Nice bass for y'all. Yep. Oh yeah. Keep tension on so you don't throw your hook. It's a nice one. Nice size bass. Finesse rig. Number two offset hook. Four inch yum dinger. Hope I can get him in for y'all. Nice size bass. Nice fight. I'm putting up a good fight. Alright, let's see. Nice size bass. Here we go. Let's see if I can't get him. There it is, folks. Look at that. Nice fatty. Bayou bass. That's what it's all about. Showed y'all how to do it. Number two, offset hook. And a four inch yum dinger. Finesse rig. Oh man. I left my scale out there. Last spot, all right. Well, I was gonna weigh this guy for you, but apparently I've misplaced my scale. But I say he's a good two pounds. Easy. <sighs> That's what it's all about, folks. Buy you bass, look at that little guy. Healthy little fish. Throw him back, someone else can catch him. Try to practice catch and release. That way everybody can have fun catching fish. <laughs>